Welcome to the Sule software training video for the DataLogic Memoir 1 barcode scanner. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up your barcode scanner from out of the box and get it properly registered to work with contract management. So in the box, you'll find the DataLogic scanner as well as a charger. You might need to charge the device before starting it up, and then you'll hold the button to boot it up. If you are rebooting an existing device, go ahead and do a factory data reset first, and then you can follow these instructions. Okay, so once the device is booted up, we're gonna go through some basic setup functions that apply to any Android phone. The very first thing is get connected to the Wi-Fi. This is gonna be the Wi-Fi that is going to extend into your fab shop where you'll be using the barcode scanner. Your IT department should be able to supply you with the password to connect to your Wi-Fi. For both, most of these settings, we're gonna keep it simple and just uh, start up as a new device and not sign in to Google. So after a few moments, the device will start setting up. And as I mentioned before, we can just skip a Google account setup. You can always go back and decide to sign in later if you want to download different apps. So on this screen, we're gonna put in a name for our barcode scanner. We can skip protecting the phone because we don't wanna have the screen lock and have to swipe up every time when it times out. We can set the Google services off so we don't, we preserve the best battery life we can. And from here, we're ready to get going. Okay, so when you see the front screen, this is now uh, the device, and we're gonna start by clicking on the Chrome icon in the bottom right corner. We can go ahead and again, skip signing into Chrome, and now we're gonna ready to go register the scanner with the computer. So in contract management, one time we need to go to the company options and select our database that these scanners are gonna be talking to. We do that under the web API menu, and most people will only see one database here. In this case, we're gonna use the scans database. Make sure you hit save, and then you can exit this screen. If you haven't given yourself user rights, you will need to give user rights in inventory to the register barcode scanner function. Now we can launch inventory. And under the setup menu in inventory, you'll see the register barcode scanner menu. Once you click on that screen, you'll see a list of all scanners that are already registered. You go ahead and click the bottom entry and just start typing, giving this scanner a name. This could be something like North Shear or loading scanner number one. After you've entered the name, you'll pick the fab shop that this scanner is going to be used at. Once you see the QR code in the bottom, that scanner has been registered with the database. Remember, this barcode is only to be used with a single scanner. We'll follow the steps again for additional scanners. So now we have the QR code, we're ready to actually scan it onto the scanner. So we bring up Chrome, click into the box where we type a website address, and scan the barcode. Typically you need to hold it about a few inches away, and once you see a green dot, you know you have a successful scan. You will see the scanner registration page and you know it's successfully registered if it shows you this menu here. We can then go to loading mode and we want to click the add Sule scan app to preserve a shortcut on our home screen. And you will see now the app shows up there and this is how we can launch the app going forward. Now, the last thing we have to do is go into settings, go to system, and we have to change one set of scanner settings. The very first thing we're gonna do is go into the data wedge, and we're gonna go down and change the keyboard wedge input mode to key pressure. We'll back up one step, go to formatting, and now we're gonna set a label prefix and label suffix. We're gonna use the tilde character, which is that squiggly, line. We can find it on the keyboard. We want to remove any line feed characters or anything that's there. And once we set that, we can click OK. And now we can back up. 
Now, to test it, we're going to launch the app. And then we can scan a bill of lading barcode to test that this is actually registered and working properly. We first want to select an operator. Now, once we scan a barcode, we should see the load number appear. Once we see the number of tags appear, we know that we've successfully registered this scanner. Congratulations. If you have any questions on this video, please feel free to leave a comment or email us at support at